Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for something completely brand new and literally just came out here recently. For those of you who haven't heard of a company out in France named Ankama, they make fantastic, very colorful games. This game here is called One More Game. You can find it on Steam. I think it's like $18.99 and it's a roguelike card game. If you liked Slay of Spire, then you would probably totally love this game. I got to play a demo of this a few months ago and it was fantastic. So now I have the full game and I'm excited to play through it and I got some exciting news if you saw the thumbnail yes this is a giveaway because Ankama hooked me up with two codes of this game if you want to enter for a chance to win it's super easy just in the comment section below let me know have you ever heard of Ankama or played some of their games before I will draw both winners on the 21st of this month and reach out to you directly in the comment that you leave in the description of this video thank you Ankama for hooking me up with those codes and thank you everybody for helping make this possible by supporting the channel do me a huge favor real fast smack the like button let's find one more game. Oropo. Oh, click to continue. Okay. Oropo. I'm here, Oropo. Come to me. Don't give up. We'll be reunited soon. Stop trying to do the impossible. Oh. You'll never see her again. You're mine. Oh, wow. None of this was in the demo. That's awesome. Oh, man. There he is. Wow. What was that shaking? I saw a flash of some kind. Hurry, let's check it out. Oh, he dove back through the gate. Strawberry Fields. That's so cool. I like that intro. So that was not the intro that was in the demo. That's really cool. All right, it doesn't look like I'm covering anything over here. On the bottom, I don't have any right now. This is where you'll see the cards show up. Over here are some things that you can collect along your way that increase your your power, your abilities, things like that. Up here we got our map. And what happens is each time you move to a next space, make sure I'm not covering it, you move to a next space and the symbol there will tell you what is going to happen there. I'm gonna hide my webcam here for a second. Down here below, you can see that this is commas earned. That's the currency in the game. Wakfu crystals, XP earned. So as you're going through this, you're actually going to be kind of like leveling, like an RPG. You're going to be increasing your deck, getting new cards to fight with. Over here, you got your attack or defense number. Over here on the right is the amount of wakfu it takes. That'll make sense here in a second. Down here on the bottom, it shows you what that particular card will do. Here's the different equipment that you can have on. You can have one inside of each one of these slots. Again, that'll make sense as we move forward. But yeah, as you move through here, and then what happens is every once in a while you get to make a choice on which path you want to go. And the, the goal is, is you work your way through here, ultimately to a boss at the end of one of these paths. And you're collecting loot, you're collecting XP, you're collecting all the stuff as you move through. When you've reached I assume once you've reached the end or you die, you'll go back to that little village that you started out in. And then that's when you can kind of make some upgrades to the cards that you have, maybe buy some new cards. And then you come out here and it's a brand new map, all new portals, all new setup, and you work your way through it again. It It's pretty cool. It's got a nice little loop cycle to it. So again, if you're familiar with Slave Spire, it's kind of like that same concept. But the cool thing about this game and why I'm so passionate about it is it's built in the same universe as the Ankama of Dofus, of Wakfu, all these other games that I've played that have been amazing. So like this rat, this Arachne, these are characters that you could actually find in those games as well, which is super fun. All right, so red cards are attack, blue is defense, green is boost. Each card's value is given in the upper left-hand corner. For example, this player is going to do seven damage. This is your Wakfu gauge. That's this up here. When this gauge is full, most of your cards can no longer be played. When this happens, end your turn. On each of your turns, you unlock an additional unit in your Wakfu gauge. 
and draw up to six cards. So, as you can see, right now I have three slots, meaning I can use up to three Wakfu. So I could use this card, this card, and this card in this turn. Actually, all of mine only have one Wakfu requirement, so it's not really a big deal. So what's gonna happen is you attack from front to back. Now, in the demo, I never got any cards that allowed me to attack like further back in the line, but you can get cards to like push characters to the back, which brings the next person up front. You'll get cards where you can hit all the enemies in the line. So in that way you would hit them all. So in this case, I'm gonna choose a card boost. I'm gonna increase by four and I'm gonna do this. See how it's an 11 now? And I've used one Wakfu. Now I'm gonna use this and I just hit him by 11. This is gonna be seven. He's got 10 health left. Now he's down three in my turn. All right, now see this time, actually it's gonna show you right here, opponent's actions, I'll just clip through this. So now what it shows is that this character is going to do an attack on me for seven. This one's going to attack me by eight. My defense, so now I can use some of these to build up my defense. So for example, this is 15 altogether. Well, if I use all three of these, now I have a defense of 15, I'm, I'm kind of covering a little bit. All right there, that little plus 15. So now if both of these guys attack me, I'll be okay. Now what I could have done is use this first card. I got one Wakfu. Now my Wakfu bar is full. Nothing else I can do in my turn. I'll show over here. See my shield went down to eight and then it went down. So I still have full health. Isn't that cool how that works? All right, let's finish this guy off. All right, so now we got spider. Uh, Webb does damage and gains the same amount in armor. Oh, okay, so he's gonna hit me by five and then gain five shield. Let's see. He's got 32 health. I'm not gonna be able to finish him off. All right, let's put this on so that when he attacks, it's not gonna hurt. And just because you buff a card doesn't mean you have to use it right away. So I'm gonna buff this. And you can use that boost on defense. If I'd use that on here, I would get nine shield instead of five. And I'm gonna use... You know what? Let's go ahead and attack with both of these. There's something cool that happens when this gets completely cool. I'll show you. All right, this is the perfect. When you fill your Wakfu gauge to its max level, Oropo will launch a devastating perfect attack. Careful, after a perfect, your Wakfu gauge resets to its original three units. So I can I can use all six. I can use all six cards because each one of these. Oh, here's one that's worth three. See right there, and it highlights how many is going to be used when I do that. So if I fill this gauge all the way up, there's gonna be a new button to pop up down here. In fact, let's see if we can do it without killing this guy so I can show you. So there's that. Uh, mm, I'm gonna kill this guy no matter what. Maybe. Okay, yeah, so using one of these are gonna put me in the, the uh, perfect state. Perfect, he's still got a little life left. So now I get to use this real special attack. He only got two health left, so it ain't gonna be all that great. But well, watch this, it's so cool. Boom! That's how you squish a spider. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, so you run over here, pick up your stuff. Uh, what we just picked up there were Wakfu crystals. Now this is, see how it says Soothing Stone plus two HP. So this means now at the start of every fight, I will get plus two HP, putting me at 102, I, I think. But see how it's square shaped? Over here, there's a square, a circle, you know, you got these different shapes. This will fit into that spot. So I can pick this up and I can have one square item at a time. Now, if I drop another square item, I can check this one to this one and swap them if I want to. They don't have to stay, like I, I can pick up the better of the two. And I think, yeah. You, yeah, you can break boxes. All right, that was a comma. We found one comma. I don't think one comma is going to do much, but... Okay. Oh, there's a rat back there. Okay, so that's how the attacking works. I think that's uh, pretty easy to understand. Oh, yeah. Got to find that loot. All right, now here is a chest. If we look at our map, see, this has got the chest symbol. I don't think there's a key. <laughs> a key. No, I was thinking like a map key on here. So... I guess we'll kind of learn these as we go along. So sword is a fight. This symbol here, uh, we know it as a zappy or a zap. 
in Dofus and Wakfu. Uh, it's probably just referred to as a gate here, but this is how you get in and out of the place. Uh, so the chest is this right here. We're gonna open it up, see what we get. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're up to 103 commas. Free money. Okay, now we have a choice. We can either go up to this, which I think is, if I don't remember, I think the exclamation mark is a statue that gives you the possibility of a powerful card. I don't remember what the question mark is or if I even encountered one before. So we're gonna go this way just to see if I remember correctly. I really wanted to check the question mark though. Yeah! But I kind of feel like this first run through is a good chance to give you a, a tutorial of how this works so that you can see if this is a game you're interested in or not. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this lever and there could be something good or something bad happen from this. I think that's how this works. All right, let's see it. Oh, something bad. Oh, it's a fight. Uh, thieving or, oh no, don't you steal my commas. No, you better not steal my commas. Oh man. It doesn't show like what he's gonna hit by. Is he just gonna straight up steal my money? Not cool, spider. We're just gonna wail on him. We wanna kill him quick. What are you gonna do? No! Give me back my money. Um. Man, he didn't even attack, so it's not like defense. I don't think is gonna do any good. We're just gonna we're just gonna hit him. Oh, you gonna steal another ten from me? Okay, got five. Fifteen bucks! Oh, you suck. That hurts way more than actual damage, stealing my commas. Hey, all right. We beat him, so we got we got some money back. That's, the, that's good. I fought this during the demo. I think I fought, like, an exploding skeleton, and you had, like, three turns to kill it. If you didn't kill it in time, it blew up and did massive damage to you. I'll give you an idea of what you might find in something like that. And again, this is just the demo that I played, so who knows how many more things might be in all this stuff. That's right. Gotta stretch up. Oh, we got a gobble. Gobbles are super cute and fun. All right, so we got a rat. It's gonna do a defense by six. And when you see multiple shields, that means he's gonna do a defense by four for the whole team. Now, I don't know what the maximum number of enemies you can have up here. The most I ever got up to, I believe, in the demo is three. I don't know if there's fights where they'll become more or if there's waves. I could see it something like maybe there's three here, maybe two off to the side and they come popping out. I don't know. But as of right now, uh, we've only got the two to deal with. But I'm going to show you how this works. See how this is, this says attacks all enemies. So now we can uh, attack both. It's going to use all my stuff, but they're just going to defense this turn. So I might as well go for it. All right. Now see how he's got a defense of 10 right there. He's defense four. We're gonna use, this is gonna do 10 damage. Um, Wow, they're gonna hit by 19. Okay, we're gonna do this. Do this. Now, for the most part, I don't think you get things like healing items, like potions and stuff like that. So you really want to be mindful of your health. If it gets down too low, you, you might not be running much longer just because of that. Now there are some things that we'll encounter along the way that gives you a chance to recover some health. And then of course we might find some more magical stones over here that do some other things. So that's stuff we can think about too. All right, we're gonna do this because I think it's gonna finish off the rat and do a hurt to the gobble. There we go. He's just gonna defend this next turn, so we're gonna just attack. Because I think we're gonna get our perfect on this next turn. So we will take this guy out. Okay. All right, so I just need to use all the cards. Boom, that's so much fun. Yeah, baby. Oh, almost feel bad wailing on something so cute. Almost. Okay, what we got here? Scourge of Anger, negative nine HP on all enemies when an enemy is defeated. Oh, that is nice. So one thing I don't know yet, because 
all I've played is a demo. I don't know if like each category carries a particular attribute. Like I don't know if square is typically buffs for me and circles are uh, negative effects to the enemies, that kind of thing. But I'll be paying attention to that as we move forward to see if I'm starting to know like notice like a consistency between what's available in the different categories here. But now anytime I kill an enemy, any enemies that are left will suffer nine damage, which is sweet. Oh, okay, here we go. So this one is the little electric bolt. This is the statue thing that I was thinking of before. And this comes from my favorite class. You probably noticed it on the thumbnail. Well, I, I guess favorite is kind of skewed there. So when I first started playing Dofus, the first character I picked was a class called... It's pronounced Yop, but it's spelled I-O-P. So most English people pronounce it Iop. That's what I always ca call it as Iop. So this is the Iop class. It's all, bra all bronze and no brains. And I love it. You just go out there and you smash things. But that's uh, that's what we got going on here. So most likely the cards that we get as a blessing from this particular god is going to be very damage oriented. And it's cool because if you begin to become familiar with the the role of the different classes from the other games, you kind of get an idea of why this particular statue is all about damage. There's another one that's all about healing. Another one's about, you know, manipulating time and stuff. So it's really cool how the universes kind of cross each other. Massacre. Uh, that's kind of nice. For one Wakfu, I could do 20 damage to all enemies. Or I'll get... Uh, okay, at the bottom down here, see how it says times one? I'm only pointing that out because sometimes you might want to pick your card based upon the number that you'll get. I've had statues in the past where I was given two instead of one, which can be super helpful. Okay, so this one's Fury. It's two Wakfu. It does 40 on just the first enemy. Um... I'm gonna. S I think I like the idea of this one. Yeah, we're gonna go with that because I got a feeling that being able to hit all enemies by 20, and then I've got my sevens and maybe a 10 that I can hit following on this. I think that's gonna make for a real powerful round. So that's pretty awesome. It's my first time seeing the eye up. Oh, it's awesome. Find the eye up on first run. I like that. Oh. Stop. Where do you think you're running off to, kid? I've never encountered an actual character in the demo. I was not expecting this. I see. Not the talkative type, are you? You aren't going anywhere. Not after all the harm you brought to the village. What did we do? We're gonna fight? What? No way. I don't think I can win this fight. I think I'm supposed... He's going to hit me by 20. I ain't going to waste any good cards. I'll put it that way. I ain't waste any good cards. We'll see if we can... Maybe if we get his health down to a certain point. Uh, we, we... I don't know. Maybe we get something out of it. Oh, oh my goodness. He's getting a buff of 32. All right. You, you go ahead. Show off. See if I care. Uh, I got two left, so let's do this. That's right. We're gonna do what our, what damage we can. Oh no, 52. Now see how this card, that my blessing card that I got, as long as I don't use it, it'll stay in my deck. But once I use it, it's gone. It's a it's a one time use thing. If you hadn't figured that part out already. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is this is kind of. Um, I'll just take it. Yo! Alright. I'm, I'm at least gonna do what what hurt I can. Defense 60? Oh! Oh! Nice try, kid. But not good enough. Oh, man. Dungeon over. So I did five rooms. I defeated six monsters and zero elite monsters. Got a butt kicked. 152 commas, 17 shards, 119 XP. 
Yo! First enemy is stunned. Oh, that's nice. Uh, since you know what the enemies are going to do, you get a little symbol. Uh, if you see the first enemy is going to do a lot of damage to you, they're going to do an attack by like 20, you can stun them and they have to pass their turn. Fantastic card. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad there's like a story to this. I didn't know if there would be. Raya, what were you thinking? Why did you do that to him? Yeah, Raya. That's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in here that's like... Really... There's some dice there. Dice kind of represent probably the Ekaflip class. It's a cat-based class. They're all about luck. All right. I'll try to point some things out. To, I'll try not to geek out too much on you. I've played Dofus for over 15 years. I'm very passionate about that game, why I'm also passionate about this game. But I'll try not to geek out too much on all the, the stuff that I could point out to you. Like, we got a little eye up sword and shield thing kind of going on over here and stuff. So, we'll keep moving. I didn't have a choice. He broke the zap and ran off. <sighs> Hello, don't be scared. We don't want to hurt you. Move and I'll knock you out again. <laughs> well, one of them doesn't want to hurt me. <sighs> she is not. She's not having it. Let him catch his breath. How are you doing? For Iob's sake, Hildy, don't pamper him. He destroyed the zap, remember? Don't think you're getting off easy. That's true. Without it, we're cut off from the rest of the world. It's decided then. You'll fix the zap no matter what it takes, kid. When you're done pouting, come to the shop next to the inn. <laughs> I didn't even make time for introductions. What's your name? Oropo. That's an unusual name. Yeah. I'm Hildegarde. I think that's how you pronounce that. And the feisty and patient one is Raya. <sighs> it's decided then. You'll fix the zap. No matter what it takes, kid. <laughs> At least she was a little more polite. Oh, here we go. We're inside the little village. So we got, we got a pub here. Can I even get in there yet? It looks like the door's shut. Oh my gosh, this game, it, it's got such a beautiful look to it. The village is a safe place. Here you can take advantage of the shops to upgrade your cards or buy new cards. Oh yes. Village. To head back out on an adventure, go through the gate in the middle of the village. Oh, this is so awesome getting to see this. All fleshed out, looking beautiful. All right, these are locked. I noticed that that first door was open. So, my guess is these are things that we come back to as we progress through the game. Yeah, the city looks pretty empty right now. Alright, let's go in here. Ah! Welcome. What te <laughs> technique What technique do you want to learn? Let's see what you got here. Okay, so you can upgrade cards. I, I don't think I'm covering too much of this. So, you can upgrade the cards in your deck. And what it does is it shows you how many of these... Uh, Wakfu Crystals, the blue ones, tells you how many it's going to take to make that particular upgrade. And I believe if you click it, yeah, it shows you what it's going to become. So let's go up to level two, and it's going to go from a boost of four to a boost of seven. Uh, so that's what these are for. If you go to the store, this is where you need your commas to actually buy cards to add to your deck. You can buy more of a card you already have. It looks like three I don't know if two or three means that's how many he has, or that's the max number I can carry. I only have one boost card, so maybe that's what it's saying, is I could have two more of these. I could get three of both of these, because I don't have either of them. This has a nice defense. I feel like I feel like that could be helpful. Let's see, if I use my current defenses, the shield, that's five. If I use two of these, that gets me ten. The only reason I'm looking at that is because this is two Wakfu, and that gets me 12. So it is better. I could use one of these, the same amount of Wakfu, and I could stack a boost on it to, you know, buff it up a bit more if I want. So I think here in the beginning, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to buy this, and I want to upgrade this because the nice thing about upgrading a boost card is it's something that can be applied to all my cards. So in a way, I'm kind of buying a boost for all my cards. I like that idea. Uh, 
I like that. Oh, look, it shows you if I went to level three, it would go up to 12. Man, that would be awesome. Okay, I'm down to 2-2. Two, two. That's all we can do here. Can I talk to this guy? Oh, no. I didn't know if he could, like, conversate with me. What technique do you want me to teach? Okay, yep, he's just repeating himself. All right. There you go. That's the gist of how it works. Now, let's just start playing. Let's see how far we can get. It would be awesome if I could... Uh, so yeah, there's there's four destinations. This is the only thing I've seen. I don't know what all's in these other areas, but in the demo, I think I think it ended after like I think you got to go through like eight, maybe nine of these, and then at the very end, it says the demo's over, and what comes marching out is one of those little gobbles, but it was a giant one. It just comes pounding out and then that's where the demo ended and i was like no so uh yeah this looks cool but see how it's different so now we're starting off with two fights uh we got we still don't know what this is i don't know what a. uh i wonder if it's just a surprise like a gamble oh my gosh this is so fun it's fun to actually be in the game now and real quick, I'll just recap on that giveaway. If you're interested in trying to earn a free copy of this game, make sure you leave me a comment below detailing if you've ever heard of Ankama, played one of their games before, or if you never have. Also, you noticed on that thumbnail, I had a picture of my IOP. That's my character from the actual Dofus game. The reason I got him on there is because that shield that he has, that glowing shield that looks like this gate right here, that's a free cosmetic that you get along with this code. So if you do play Dofus, and I think there's a version that goes with Wakfu as well, well, if you do decide to play either one of those, Dofus has a, it's free to play a big chunk of it, but then you have to subscribe if you want the full game, whereas Wakfu is completely free. So if you want just a completely free one to play, and it's a beautiful game too, Wakfu is amazing, download Wakfu, and then you'll get a cosmetic as well that goes with that. So that's kind of cool. I'm excited. Thank you again, Ankama, for hooking me up with those codes. Well, you're interesting, just standing out there like that. And let's go get our first fight on. We're going to take home. I want to see some new stuff. The rats and the gobbles. I've seen these guys before. Okay, so he's going to defend. But he's also the first one I can attack. So let's go ahead and use this. That way, that takes care of this move here. And yeah, I guess we'll just do this attack here. Oh, we got, got a little bit of different music here. Oh, I want to go back and check that little profile thing, too. I want to see that. Okay, so this is where... So, here's where I'm going to play kind of a... Oh, I can't play too defensive. I was going to say, I was if I could have used five, I was going to use this to stun the first guy and put on two shields so then he would not hurt me at all. I can't do that, though. Uh, so they're going to hit me by 17. If I do this... That takes away seven. This would take it would be hit me by five, which is probably gonna be far better. So we'll do this. So he's stunned. Put this on. So oh look, my health went up too. I'm at 110 now instead of 100. My guess is that's because I leveled. Okay, you're gonna do defense. Man, this dude in the back, man, he just keeps fighting. He knows he can get away with it. Alright, we're gonna do both of these. We're gonna wail on his buddy. See ya! Oh, I do still have one left. Yeah, what do you think about that? Little rat. Okay. Oh, now I get the one that I could have been... Alright. Um... Let's go ahead and boost this. Look at that. It's 14 now. Boom! See ya! Alright, what we got here? Toxic Eye, plus two poison on all enemies on the third turn. I like that. Anything that helps, uh, helps in the battle, I'm all for it. Little guy, oh, team of three. Okay, hopefully I draw my big card and my boost. Oh, I didn't. Okay, so we got 14. Let's see, if I do, yeah, I think we're gonna go this route. Yeah, baby. <laughs> nice try. Okay. Now, this... 
it's going to hit them all. Hit by 17. If I did all three of these and took him out... Oh, but he's got four shields, so that won't take him out. And I don't have... Okay, let's... Hmm. Okay, we're going to hit him off and shield. I think that's the best route to go there. Okay. Oh, I see a toxic guy. They just put that on him, and now it's got a countdown. They'll be taking some damage. I like that. Okay, they're all defending, so we're just going to wail on them. And finish you off. There's no point in using these unless I just wanted to try to draw another attack card. Which... No, because I'm going to get my perfect on my next turn. And I might want to stack those on myself, so... We're going to let it ride. See, I just took two. And he took two. That's that poison. That's what we're talking about. Alright. Uh, so, we're going to try to... Wow, he's got ten defense. Man, I was really hoping to finish off the first one. Okay. I don't want to use my perfect. So we're going to go this route. Uh, see, he's only got two health. I don't want to waste my perfect on him. You don't have to do it. In fact, I don't even think I have to use it even if I use all six cards. Let's see. I, let's see if I can pass and save it for the next turn. Hmm, nope. And I see this little... up. Uh, Right here behind me. See this thing right here? I don't know if you can earn new special attacks. I'm guessing that's what that is. So, like, this is the only card I have in my deck for that. Oh, it's going to be so wasteful. All right. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll put a little fear into that guy. Well, I mean, I guess it's not wasteful. Because now I have enough defense to... To block all of his hit. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, he's going to hit by 12. Oh, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. I'm really glad I bought that card. That is a... He's going to hit by 12 again. Um... Let's do... I'm not going to be able to kill him. So it's kind of pointless to be pushing really hard to try to do that. So we're going to do the defenses. And then we will buff this. That way we can stun him next turn. So no matter what he's going to do, we'll keep him from being able to do it. And we'll hit harder. So like this. Boom. There we are. Poor Gobble. Anybody feeling bad for this guy yet? Uh, he's got 15 left. Oh, and I can get a, a perfect. Uh, let's go with this. Okay. I was going to say, if he's still alive, he's going to regret it after that. Oh, yes. Uh, rune shards. I think these are used... There's like these little campgrounds that you can find. Like this right here. And I think there's a little booth or a shop there. And this is where you use those, I think. We'll see as we move through here. But I think that's how it works. Plus one poison. Okay. At the start of a turn. So now I've got a plus one poison. This is plus two, but only applies on all enemies on the third turn. So... This one kicks in right away, which is which is always nice, right? Let's check out the question mark. I'm curious. Oh, we got a statue. Oh, we got this one again. Nice. Oh, I like it. this. Um, I'm thinking this now with that boost card. I think that would be pretty awesome. All right. I like that. Onward. Little gobble. Uh, a couple spiders. Oh, man. Please give me my new card. Give me my blessed card. Yes, there it is. So I can do 20. Now, the, the tricky thing about this is the fact that he's in the front. So he's almost like defending these guys. Because I can't just start trying to take out the little guys first. I got to get through him first. 
Now, if I do this, that would be 20 on all of them. Um, uh, I'm thinking they're gonna hit by 24. I'm gonna I'm gonna play defense this first turn. 21. Okay, that blocks most of it. Yeah, you gotta take a little damage, aren't you? All right, what do we got now? All right, that attacks all enemies, so this would be 30. Oh, but they got the, the shields now. Mm. Well, they're going to attack by 17. Let's go with that. Yo, that looked awesome. And that's not going to kill them off. All right. As much as I don't want to, we're going to take defense. And I guess we'll just hit you. Man, I really wanted to follow it up with that one. But at least this way I won't lose quite as much health. Alright. Man, this gobble is not letting up. Now nah, I got my boost card. Uh, see, if I boost this... Yeah, let's do that. That's gonna be four, and that still leaves me one left. Boom, boom! Took out both of them. Oh, yeah. Like it. Oh, we got here. Plus 15 armor when an enemy is defeated? Heck yeah! That's a whole new slot there, too. That was awesome. Okay, let's see what we got here. I can go up here to a question mark. The golden sword, I believe that's an elite monster. Over here is that chest where it's either you win or you lose? I don't think I've ever won on that thing. I've lost every time I've tried one. You know what? Let's, let's roll with this. If we're going to take a gamble, let's go this route. Oh, it's a fight. <laughs> oh, look. Got a little dude back here fishing. Love it. All right. Uh, he's going to attack. So here, I'm going to stun him. So now I won't take any damage this turn. It's a very useful card, that stun one. But the problem is, is the character you want to stun has to be in the front. Otherwise, you're like, ah. Okay, I'm going to take a hit by 12, so let's do this. And... Yeah, I guess just attack twice here. These guys are kind of tough. 57 health. Alright, now they got... Now they got some good poison stacked on them. Okay, they're both going to defend. So let's boost this. There we are. And I'm excited to see what all the different cards are. I remember even just in the demo, I was impressed with the variety that was there. Okay, now they're going to hit kind of hard. 24. Mm, you know what? Here we go. If I use this, that's going to trigger my, my perfect, which means this guy would have almost no health left. I'd rather wait till next turn when I can finish this guy off and then use my perfect attack on him. <laughs> I forgot about the poison right there. That's nice. All right, so let's do this. That's three. Oh, he may not even live. Yep, he didn't live long enough to even take that hit. Okay, here's a situation finally where we can look at these. So I can take this, which would give me plus 10 armor at the start of a combat, or I can keep the poison on for the enemies. Now, depending on which one I choose, the other one will flop onto the ground, but it doesn't go to waste. When you reach one of those campsites that I was talking about, like right here, anything that you leave behind, any of these that you don't pick up gets turned into the rune shards so it's kind of a matter of which one do you want to go with now i like the idea if it's poisoned and let's say i've got three enemies and the fight even goes four turns that would be 12 damage that that thing would put out whereas this would absorb 10 damage for myself in a single fight but allow me to be a little more often. You know what? I, I think I'm kind of liking the poison. 
Especially since it applies to all the enemies. Ooh, there was a good box. All right, so we're gonna leave that. We're getting ready to fight our first elite, I believe. Let's see what it's gonna be. Oh. Okay, well, it's just three gobbles. Well, I mean, granted, that is a pretty big fight. They're all going defense. All right, well, we're gonna take advantage of the fact they're not in defense yet. Smack them all. Here's where I'm gonna be glad I got that poison, too. Oh, man, so he's got 12 defense, 11. All right, we got two attacking. Let's go 12. Yep, we're gonna go defense too, guys. See so yeah, how you like it. Yeah, I like this, because even though I went like full defense, I'm still doing a little bit of damage. I'm glad I kept the one that I did. Okay, they're going all defense this route again, so we're gonna do this. And let's just focus attack this first guy. Oh, I tell you what, I think I'm holding on pretty good. Given the cards that I've got, you know, I, I don't exactly have a a plethora of things to choose from yet. Now, let's see. If I use this with that, that's going to be 17. He has 18, 22. I was trying to see if I could get rid of this guy and then use my perfect on this guy, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. They're going all defense. So... You know what? We are going to go this route. And then I'm going to... I'm going to use one of these just to get rid of a defense card. Yeah. I like that move. Look at that poison, baby. Oh, man. That's really paid off this, this fight. Alright. Oh, yes. This is what I was hoping for. So, if I use... All three. We're going to go with this here. Hit all those guys. Hit you. And they're both going defense. You know what? Why not go ahead and go ahead and take one out? They're both going defense. So it doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm going to kill this next guy. Although I'm only going to have three cards to work with. I did forget about that, but it's not like he can hit me that hard. Okay, so he's going to attack by 12. I can use this to stop that. Hit on him there. Okay, this will work out. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I kept the, kept the poison. All right, he's going to... We'll do this just in case I don't think I could finish him off, so we'll stun him. And he's about a goner now. Yes, our first elite fight. What did we get? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, man. So the colors, so the ones we got so far have just been gray. Blue, obviously, is going to be a stronger type of card. And I don't know what levels these go up to, but I believe there's still higher tiers of cards you can get. Draw three cards after playing a divine card. Mm, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep with this. Yeah, I don't like how limiting that is, at least as of right now. Alright, we're going to hit a campfire. And, and bust everything. Now, this is one of those places where I told you there's certain things you can do to get a little bit of health back. I believe this is one of those places. Camp. Bury the Shoo Shoo Cauldron, recovers the runes you leave behind, and returns them to you in the form of shards. A peddler will be waiting for you in every camp. You can use shards to buy new runes or upgrade the ones that you already have. Don't forget to restore some health points at the campfire. So we can go up to this guy. I've got all those things. See, he's starting to chew them up. Now, the more rare the rune is, uh, the more, more shards you get. So I have 57 now. And then this guy, the peddler... This is where you can upgrade what you have. And I gotta say... Oh, these you can buy. Okay, so just like the other shop, these are what you can buy, or these are what you can upgrade. And it looks like... 
It looks like you use the shards even for buying things. So unlike the other shop where you've got your commas to do one side and the crystals to do the other, this one, they both use the shards. Okay. What the... I don't want to accidentally buy something. In fact, I already know I want to upgrade this poison. Plus two poison on all enemies at the start of a turn. Plus three. Oh, do I even have enough? It's 27. Oh, and I got 57? You know, that might be worth it. Okay, so plus 30 commas at the start of a combat. Yo! I could actually be making money just by going to a fight. Minus nine HP on all enemies when an enemy is defeated. Plus 10 max HP. Hmm, I don't know about that. Uh, Prism of Anger, negative 2 HP on all enemies when an armor card is played. Oh, that could be handy, and I didn't got anything in that slot. For 8? I mean, yeah, I, I kind of like that. Okay, now, let's upgrade. See, that's 27. And 22. I might have enough to even upgrade that. Okay, let's do this one first. Oh, yeah! Oh, that's awesome! I had just enough. Oh, that's so great. So now I got plus two in poison all enemies start of a turn. Plus 15 armor when an enemy is defeated. Plus two poison all enemies on third turn. And negative three HP to all enemies when I play an armor card. And y'all know how much I'd be playing them armor cards. Oh, and, uh, let's see, click the fire here. Ooh, max health? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, does the map show... Okay, we can only go down this way. And then this is where we get to choose which path we want to go. I mean, I, I don't know which... Let's see, there's a fire. There's a fire. Fire. And, okay, so they both have a fire right before... And they both have an, uh, an elite group right before. It's got one, two elites, two elites. This has a golden chest. Not quite sure what it... You know, they might have just won me over with that one. Um, I think we're going to go top. Because I, I, I like the look of this, this, and this. I think that's going to be the plan. Assuming we make it that far. But I feel like we're in really good shape at the moment. Oh, here's a big gobble. He looked mean. 125. Oh, suddenly all my new upgrades don't feel so powerful. All right, he's going to hit by 17. So even if I use all three defense cards... Do I have my... Oh, I don't have my stun. Uh, okay, well, that's... that's... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Look at that! I did 9 damage and stacked 15 defense on myself. Oh, that's awesome. What one is that again? Prism of Anger? Oh, I'm going to be keeping my eye out for that. If there's a way to just straight up buy this, like in a shop somewhere, I'm probably going to go that route. Okay, he's going to... So here's what I want to use to stun him. That saves me from that. I'm going to do this. They're trying. They're they're chipping away at me. That rat ain't coming. See, the nice thing about the poisons too is, even though I can't reach that rat with most of my attacks, I'm obviously I'm I'm doing damage. Now, see this shield with the uh, arrow on it? It's called a breach attack, meaning that even if I have defense for eight, he's still gonna do eight damage. It's gonna go through the shield. So, that kind of changes things a little bit. We're going to go with this to finish off the rat in the back. Rat in the back. Mm, and I guess at this point, we'll just attack. Alright, see I had 15 defense, and he still hit me by 8. Oh, now he's going to hit me by 15. Alright, let's stop you in your tracks, dude. Um... You know what? We're gonna do this. 
And should I wait and do my big attack next turn? Because this is going to drop me down to three, but it's going to do 30 damage. No, we're going for it. We're going for it. I like how his eyes come like bulging out during the attack. And seven. Oh man, this is good. All right, yeah, you can do your little through attack. It don't matter now. Uh, this should finish him off. Turn into bones. Almost feel bad about that. Okay, what we got here. Uh, plus 15 armor, negative... No, I ain't swapping that out for sure. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Scourge of Anger, Prism of Anger. Negative 9 to all enemies when an enemy is defeated. Um, man, I'm going like super aggressive at this point. I like it. I like it. Oh. What's it take to get in there? I wonder, can you buy keys or something? Oh, is that saying I can't go that? Hold on a second. I can't go that route. It's locked. There must be a place where I have to buy a key of some sort. Oh, look, it's keeping track of the route that I take. That's fun. Okay, well. Goodbye, golden chest. I guess I'll have to come across you on another run. Oh, got an oh, and he's in the back this time, too. Oh, look at that. 29, 36 damage right out of the gate. These guys aren't playing around. Okay. Uh, wow. My health suddenly doesn't seem very impressive. All right, we're going to do this. Because I, I love the fact that I can do damage. Even when I'm, like, just putting on defense. Oh, this is going to hurt. This might be the lowest I've gotten yet. 78. A shield of 24. Okay, this, uh... It's going to be... Ten you know what? I think we can finish off... Oh, he's going to hit by 20. Or he's going to... So the two would be 20. Let's do it. We're going... Oh, I'm not going to finish him off. I thought I was going to be able to finish him off. All right, we'll go this route. We'll block what we can. I, I misplayed those cards. I could have done that better. That's all right. At least we got our poison stuff going in. Oh my goodness, he just stacked 24 defense on him. All right, we're at least going to get rid of this Arachne now. Uh, let's go with... Oh, I would love to use this on the guy in the back, but... Obviously, I can't do that. And then... Let's add this to here. Yeah, because I know he's going to hit me. I'll, I don't know how much longer I'm going to make it now. My health is going real fast. Things are starting to hit harder. Imagine that. It gets harder the further you make it. Okay, so we got a 17. I could get my... My big attack. I think I want to try to save the big attack for him, though. Go here. Uh, we're, okay, next turn. All right, next turn. Here's, yo, my poison finished him off. I didn't even see that coming. That was nice. Okay, we're going to stun him. Oh, man, it's so fun when you can just start clicking through cards real fast. Boom, baby. Oh. Rocked your world, didn't I, Gobble? Here we go. Just because I can. Oh, that's amazing. Ooh, what we got here? Uh, no. I'm definitely not giving up my Prism of Anger. I think that's my favorite boost I've found yet. Okay, so we got the lightning bolt. I don't remember what the lightning bolt is. Or a question mark. Was the lightning bolt a statue? Or I could go straight for a chest. And a lightning bolt. 
I think that's the deciding factor right there. Thank you. All right, these should be good. I don't think these can be bad news. So can I click this? Okay, here we go. Check this out. Here's where we check out our cards. Profile. I'm level two. So it doesn't show me yet, like, how much XP I've accumulated. I guess it only shows me that at the end. Equipped item. Hmm. So I wonder if you can get, like, damage boosters and things like that to equip before you run. Or maybe that's the spot where that key goes. That, you know. Or maybe you have to run all the way through this. Like, see how the map... I've noticed both times we came in here, it had this split. Maybe that doesn't unlock until you've completed this at least once. I could see that as a possibility as well. Hmm. All right. Do this here. All right. And let's see, is it a statue? Yeah, oh. A dragon, it's got a key. Well, I see the comma bag and stuff here. Jackpot and loot. I guess this is based on the... Inutroph? I guess I'm not familiar with the, the dragon related to him. So, a loot card. I could straight up get 120 commas. Or jackpot for 20 commas, but I get three of them. See, the trade-off is this takes four Wakfu. So when I play this card, it's probably going to be almost the only card I play that turn. Whereas this one, I can kind of spread it out a little bit, but I don't get as many commas. I think I like the jackpot route. Oh, I wonder if I could boost it. I might even try boosting it. That would be fun. Oh, and in case you were curious, you can stack boost cards on top of cards that have already been boosted if you have more boost cards. I, don't, I think I only have one boost card. I want to get a second one of those. Yeah, gobbles in the front here. Look how low my health is. Look at that. 47. I might have to might have to come up with a setup that has my camera a little further over when I play this in the future. I don't like covering up the health. Alright, since we may not last too long. I hate to say it. Okay, we're gonna do this. That'll do a little bit of damage. We're gonna collect the loot that we can. Because I don't think those cards stay with you. Once you've ended and you've gone back out to the village, you lose the blessing cards. And I want to get my commas, if possible, before this is over. Okay. 27 attack. Oh. At this point, even going all out defense is like almost not even enough. I got, I got to do it. At least I'm doing damage still. Oh, come on. Give me my comma cards. At this point, that's all I care about is all my commas. Oh, I'm down to 24. I want my loot. Oh, you guys suck. Mm. Oh, wait. Is, I might. Oh, but. I don't think I can finish it off. If both of these guys attack me, I'm dead. That's why I'm, what I'm worried about. I might be able to... So he's going to be 26. I boost that. That's 17. Oh, I think it's over. Not yet. Not over just yet. I might have bought myself one more turn. Come on, poison. Take him out. Oh. Where's my commas at? He's going to hit by 22. My goodness. Okay. That takes you out. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's enough to block... And you know what? This might survive the round. If I go this route first, I'll use my perfect. I might have squeaked by. I think I have. Look at my health. Watch this. Oh, the poison finished him off. Yes. 
I can't believe I survived that. Nope, I ain't ditching it now. It just saved my life. Alright, let's go grab another chest. At least that's like guaranteed... Guaranteed goodies before we get out of here. I'm so low in health. And I'm about to go up against a gold... Elite. Wow, 189 commas in that bag. I feel so rich at the moment. Oh, here it is. I, if I could make it past this one, I could get to another campfire. I don't see it happening, though. Oh, here we go. Here's where you can see how much XP I've accumulated so far. My Wakfu crystals and my commas. Cool, I didn't even notice that back there. Well, it's been a good run. I don't, I don't think it's going to end well. Might get to make some upgrades here in a minute, though. We've gotten a lot of commas. What you got for me? <laughs> Just give me my comma cards. That's all I care about. Yes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think they're going to kill me. That's very first turn, so it's not like it matters. Oh, no, they're all doing defense. Okay, well, he, he wasn't quite... Oh, I see him puff up real big. Okay, let's see... There we go. That's all she wrote. Because they're going to go through my shield. That was a fun run. Okay, let's see. Did we reach level three? Yeah, baby. Look at that. Huge improvements. Lots of goodies. Level three. First enemy. Ooh, 16 damage. I like that. Oh, almost made it to level four. The gate isn't far now. Get up. Ooh, I like this little loading icon over there. Oh, I've got a little exclamation mark in here. I wonder what that means. All right, what technique? You got something to say? Or maybe, oh, okay, that's... Oh, so now that I've unlocked this card, he can sell me this card. Okay, this, I know I want. I want more, I want some more boost cards. This was really good, too. What, what we got that we can upgrade? Oh, wow, you can upgrade the the big attack cards. I think these are like Wakfu cards, because it's got that same Wakfu color. Uh, 52. Man, I can't hardly upgrade nothing with just 52. I think this would be good, because I do like to use... Oh, wait a second. This is just my regular attack card. Yes, let's up to... Yes. Oh, that's awesome. And, and we can do this one. 29? Oh, that's for level 3. Ah, oh, 17's still good. Let's go to 29. Oh, I can't... Uh, thank you very much. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, man, what commas do I want to spend? Targets all enemies. So I could buy another one of those. Charge. First enemy stampede. Oh, I think this is, pushes the target to the last place. Yeah, this is one where if I wanted the enemy in the front to be pushed to the back, I could use this. It's such a situational card. But it's one of those things that it could be super helpful if it was. This was really handy. Let's... Oh, I can buy one more of these. Let's buy that. Out of stock. Let's buy this. And you know what? I'm gonna save the rest. I know I'm gonna want one of these at some point. But just not yet. And let's see, can I upgrade either of those with my seven? No. Okay. Okay, well, I guess that symbol just meant he had... Yep, it's gone now. Alright, see if anything else opened up. It does not look like it. Okay, there we have it. That's my first playthrough of One More Gate. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, you all be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one.